Hello and welcome back to another video. This problem, we're given that g is a differentiable function. We're looking to find the expression for the derivative of each of the following functions. So for a, we're given that y is equal to x times g of x. So the derivative, we can use the product rule. So we're going to have x times the derivative of g of x plus g of x times the derivative of x. So that's the product rule. You have one times the derivative of the other plus the other times the derivative of the first. So we have x, the derivative of g of x, we're just gonna write as the derivative of g of x, g prime of x, plus g of x times the derivative of x. The derivative of x, since we have a linear term, is just its coefficient, and we just have x here, so that's one x, so the derivative is one. So this is one times g of x is just g of x, so this is our final answer. For b, we have y is equal to x over g of x. So in this case, we have a fraction, so we can use the quotient rule. So you have y prime is equal to the denominator times the derivative of the numerator minus the numerator times the derivative of the denominator over the denominator squared. And this is equal to g of x times the derivative of x, as we just found is its coefficient, which is 1, minus x times the derivative of g of x. And I'm actually going to not even write the 1 in. Make things a little bit simpler. Since g of x times 1 is just g of x, I'm just going to keep it as g of x. And then we have g of x squared on the bottom. This is your answer to b. And then c, we have a similar thing. We have another fraction, it's just flipped. So the derivative is going to be the denominator times the derivative of the numerator minus the numerator times the derivative of the denominator over the denominator squared. So we have x times the derivative of g of x minus g of x times the derivative of x found this a million times by now. Derivative of x is just one, so g of x times one is g of x. So we can just leave it as that over x squared. And this is your answer for c, so that's a, b, and c. As always, thank you for liking and subscribing, and I'll see you in the next video.